So, hello everybody. So I'm between you and the coffee, <laughs> so I will hurry up. Uh, however, I see that I have a little bit more time, so I, perhaps I, may, I take some, some minutes more. My name is Arno Siebert. I'm responsible for Switzerland, Austria, and the southern part of Germany. And uh, as you may perhaps not know Cluster Vision, uh, or somebody from you would, will not know, I have some added some slides about Cluster Vision. However, I want to talk about uh, the utilization of clusters and how we can help our customers to achieve that. So about cluster vision, uh, we are in the HPC market an absolutely specialist in compute clusters, storage clusters, and GPU clusters. So we are concentrating on that according to the niche of the HPC market. We don't make or sell monitors or, or workstations. We are concentrating on the HPC uh, challenges. And uh, as uh, the presenter from Xyratext uh, already told uh, us that uh, things could happen, we know that these happen, and we know also the way uh, out of, this, of these challenges. So we concentrate on that. And um, we make specific, to the uh, customer-specific customers, uh, tailor-made and turnkey ready. So if you get a cluster from Cluster Vision, you can start right out with your computations, more or less. So therefore, we are really in a unique position in, in Europe because we are concentrating really on HPC. Um, other companies are, have mid-sized companies, uh, whatever, and sell uh, something else. We are focusing on HPC clusters. <laughs> we are all over in Europe. Uh, I'm based in Munich. Uh, other colleagues are based in UK, France, the headquarters are in Amsterdam. Our company has 15 employees. However, they are concentrating uh, on HPC only. And I think there are not too much companies have 50 specialists in HPC. The second thing is we are hardware independent. So we are really focusing on your problem, on your challenges, on your application first. And then, after several steps, it comes out what kind of architecture, what kind of hardware might be the best for you. And we can choose everything which is in the market. Our background is uh, from universities, research. I'm a mechanical engineer, uh, so everybody has experienced in administration of clusters, in building computers, and in building and installing HPC clusters. If you are working in HPC, you are at the forefront of the technology. I think 2002, the, the, the InfiniBand was really one of these kind of bleeding edge technologies. Today, I would see a more GPU computer is bleeding edge. And yes, uh, the, the, the power consumption is, I think, which makes us uh, some challenges which we have to solve in the future. Plus Vision is financially strong, profitable, and growing, so we make these kind of projects which we can do, and we avoid to make projects which we cannot do. And all over we have three, 300 customers. So, uh, most of uh, them, or some of them, are in, in the government all over the Europe. And uh, if it's in, in Germany, it's Max Planck Institute or Fraunhofer. Uh, and in other countries, similar. Industry customers, the last two years, the economy was not too good, so we did not concentrate on that. So we concentrate on academia, and therefore we are 
they are having uh, our biggest customer, our biggest success, and one of the biggest success is our top 500 customer, starting 2004 with Cambridge, then uh, Saudi Aramco, our biggest industry customer, uh, University of Bristol, and last but not least, <coughs> University of Frankfurt, our newest top 22 cluster in the top 500 list. Just to give you an impression, and therefore we are really having again made some new experience. If you build these kind of computers, you get really new experiences uh, regarding GPUs, regarding cooling, um, and regarding yeah, how to run the GPU HPL benchmark really efficient. If you saw the, the, some, from some other presenters the efficiency of GPU computing, they were between 45, 50 percent. We achieved 60 percent of efficiency with GPU computing on HPL, and this is really a world record. It's, by the way, the fastest AMD system uh, for GPU computing uh, on AMD. And yeah, we have 772 ATI Radeon cards in there, um, yeah, giving us some challenges. Uh, and if you want to know some, some more, please join us. And the system architect of the system, Mr. Heichler, is sitting near our booth. So the uh, um, cooling was also uh, a challenge and was uh, targeted to get to a ratio of 1.1. That was relative easy to achieve because River Mine is somewhere 500 meters away from the cluster, and therefore we can get with 30 degrees uh, really a very efficient cooling system. So what does Cluster Vision deliver? Turnkey clusters, as I said, storage clusters, GPU clusters, and we are providing the cluster management software for these kind of clusters too, to establish a turnkey ready system to you. We can do that on the, on the base of Pride Cluster Manager, which I come later on a little bit more in detail, and uh, the Windows HPC Server 2008. However, the ratio is uh, clearly re regarding Linux and Bright Cluster Manager. So really, we start with our customers from the applications, from the demand. We design the cluster, we deploy it, we support it, and we cool it. And therefore, we make anything which is really affecting your cluster, and uh, we know how to get rid of the challenges. Perl file systems is also one of our specialty. We are having experience in a lot of IBM GPFS installations, uh, the same with Lustre. However, in the past, Lustre was a little bit you know, unknown what what will happen. Uh, I'm 17 years with Sun, so uh, I, I know uh, that uh, this is a little bit a problem now. However, there might be a solution. Uh, we thought that Fraunhofer Global File System is also a solution, and a lot of Customers have chosen Fraunhofer file system for the scratch file system uh, because it's easy to use, it's straightforward, and uh, a good replacement also for their uh, Lustre installations. We are working very good, uh, good with our partners IBM, Supermicro, and Dell. However, it varies between the countries. In the UK, it's perhaps a little bit more IBM. In Germany, it's a little bit more Dell. And yes, we are working with Supermicro to make really precise and, and really the, to, to hit the needs of the customer, which is with Supermicro just good to achieve. So if you build a cluster, you have normally the head node. Oh, the connections are not too good visibly. Yeah, OK. Um, and if the cluster grows, y your cluster management has also the need to grow. For example, uh, you normally the 
services of Headnote, like uh, login server, NFS server, uh, provisioning server is all on the Headnote. However, if, it, if you grow, you have to divide that up. And for example, the fabric submit, subnet manager has to be separate. Then you have perhaps a, a second head node for HA reasons. Your log login nodes are increasing. Your provisioning server are increasing if you want to install patches and so on. And also your storage nodes can increase, even if it's a parallel file system or not, uh, it might be a cluster to manage the cluster. Also monitoring can ha or is needed to spread up into several, <coughs> several nodes and also the equipment of cooling, whatever it is, has to be part of the cluster. And this leads to a management system which need to know everything of these, the PDU, the switches, the Ethernet switches, the racks, everything has to be handled by the cluster management system. And what we do here is to install on every of these client one small tiny daemon to achieve that. And this is called with all the system, with all the, the functionality, Pride Cluster Manager. And Pride Cluster Management has an, a different approach. Most of, or a lot of customers, are, have this toolkit approach. So they are using uh, Ganglia, Cactus, Nages, CF Engine, XCAT, whatever. There are, I think, more tools than clusters in the world. So, what the problem is, is they are not working together. They are not designed to work together. And even some of these tools are not designed to work for HPC. Especially Navios is, not, is an Ethernet management system, not a HPC system. And sometimes these Applications are not or are not scaling. Uh, most of these systems are really not tested for scaling. They have different interfaces, different GUIs, and they have all their own daemon and their own database. So if you add a node, I think you have to add in five different tools, which is in big clusters not too too easy to do. So you need a lot of experience to bring that all together and you can decide, yes, I have the experience, or you can decide I will buy the experience and I use Pride Cluster Manager. So Pride Cluster Manager takes really a fundamental different approach say we are bringing that together to one tool, however we still are open to the tools which are common in HPC market. Uh, so you can still choose your scheduler of choice and you can still choose your open source tools which you want, but they are really integrated and therefore it's extremely easy to use, it's scalable, it's integrated in one database and it's secure because if you have everything integrated, you can really wrap up with security. And of course, to be successful, we have to be complete. So everything which is important for HPC cluster is in Bright Cluster Management, and it's flexible, that is sti or it's still flexible. So what we help you with Pride Cluster Management to really install very fast and to bring up from then the utilization of the cluster really to the ratio what you want. We often see that the curve of utilization is quite flat. So you have to care about MAC addresses, you have to care about the installation, then the installation fails, uh, you have to reinstall. Uh, Whatever can happen, 
And with bright cluster manager, we can really have a steep installation curve. For example, uh, a normal cluster installation takes 30 to 60 minutes. You can make provisioning nodes to scale that. And then you can really concentrate on bringing the best utilization of the cluster you can do. So what is in cluster, Bright Cluster Manager uh, including? It's including a Linux distribution. So this is not a separate CD. <coughs> it's really part of our Bright Cluster Manager. And still open enough to really choose whatever you want. Then the provisioning. Several libraries, several means every library what, what you, which is important for HPC. The parallel file system, at least the hookups. The cluster administration, the monitoring, the workload management of choice, which is Talk Maui, Split Engine, Slurm, and also the other uh, shaders which are in the commercial market. And then uh, for the end user, the user modules environment, which is predefined, so the end user can really start right the way after the installation. However, it's a tool is only a tool, and in HPC, we see that really the expertise has still to be there. If you don't have the HPC expertise, I think you will fail. And our expertise is also built in the Bright Cluster Manager. So integration and support is really important to get the applications run. And for our industry customers, we are really also Intel Cluster ready certified to make that even easier to start commercial applications. So that is all in Bright Cluster Manager. And this is the complete or this is the complete tool to really make a professional administration. You can do it with a user interface or with a command line interface. Both are hundred percent compatible. And um, for example, some pictures. Also, the installation can be done half automatic. However, uh, automatic is something which never really happens in, in HPC. So therefore, you need some preparation. This is, for example, the cockpit, which shows you in a sh short view, OK, my cluster is really uh, in a good shape. And you can see on the left-hand side every of the components of a cluster, even the PDUs where we get the power measurements from, and we can react on these. Some uh, small things for the node, for example, if I want to bring them off the queue and would like to test uh, some things. I can do that easily from here. I can make my, make my tests and if i really convinced that what I did is good, then I can push it to the master node back again and can redistribute to all of the other clients. <coughs> uh, user and group administration, uh, the role of the demons are really configurable, so our engineers love to take some of the of the server <coughs> of the slave nodes for for sorry for provisioning and uh, so f afterwards they can configure it back also the workload management uh, is uh, integrated however we don't uh, want to reprogram the whole tools 20% of the importers commands are in integrated 
Also in the monitoring, we have a pull-push concept, which uh, the uh, head node decides what they want to have, or what he wants to have, and what, what he wants to show. And uh, the nodes are giving them, and they are pulled to the, from the head node. So these are the, the marketing slides. However, our engineer loves to make data analysis uh, post uh, and they are really able to see where the, the, the problems are located in the rec plan. If the customer gets bitter, bigger, you will get some other views. And also GPUs are really measured and uh, are monitored because they are very hot. A normal GPU uh, runs on 95 degrees or something like that. So you get also in the metrics, you have some advanced um, f functionality which is uh, built in for for spe especially for big and large clusters, we have the incremental image updates, automatic bias updates, and so on and so on. So if you need some more information, please come to our booth. Yeah? Of course, you need the support of these clusters, and we can deliver uh, everything what you want from the application analysis to the end of the support and the application support. So, I'm at the end of my presentation. So we are really 100% committed to HPC clustering. We have the know-how to do so. We can debug things and uh, we are hardware independent so we can focus on new challenging problems and the hardware is someone which has to run afterwards. Thank you, Arno.